Hello everyone, my name is Rosie. Thank you so much for dropping by. This video is <laughs> like a wild Filofax unboxing video. So a couple months ago, Amazon was doing like a wild Safiano and I think Domino Filofax um, de-stash. And so what I did was I bought four new planners, but for stupid cheap price. So each one was roughly around like eight to $15. And so I got four. So yeah, this is just a wild unboxing and just my initial thoughts of the planners that I bought. I typically don't buy planners like Filofaxes off Amazon. Um, I know Moterm and Filofax offer their planners on Amazon, but I don't know. I typically purchase them in store, like the Filofaxes in store um, and Moterms on AliExpress. Um, there has been some controversy about Filofaxes on Amazon where it's they're not real or the rings are aligned or the leather isn't like the same quality as what you would purchase like in store or on the Filofax website. So yeah, um, it didn't stop me from buying these Safiano um, planners because they were so affordable. So why not? Right. Um, but yeah, let me see which ones I got. So I got the Safiano pocket and granite. I got the Safiano pocket in black as well. And then this one is the granite personal. And I think this one is the granite compact one. I thought I got a personal black one too, but I don't think, I think I only got these four. You know you have a problem when you don't even remember what you've ordered. But anyways, um, let's do the granite ones first. So that one's the pocket. And then this one is personal. And then this one is the granite regular personal. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's deal with the granite, which is the gray colored um, color of the Safiano. And typically when I order or buy uh, Filofax planners like in store or um, on the Filofax website, it comes in like a blue box. I don't know if I have one. Oh, let me grab it and I'll show you what it looks like. Typically it comes in like a box like this. Um, I store my inserts, like my spare inserts in here, but it's usually like just a box like this um, for pocket. But I'm guessing if you order through Amazon, it comes in like a, in this box. Actually, you know what? I should, I, I'm pretty sure I got my Hallborn online, like on Amazon too. Um, and it did come with a blue box. So maybe it's just not, maybe these ones came in like brown boxes. But anyways, the granite pocket. So, wow, I already love the color. Oh my goodness, look at that. And it's packaged like like what you would typically see like off from the website or in person with the clear um, plastic. But yeah, so I have a Safiano, um, I think it's called, I forgot what it's called, Fawn in the zip. I actually did a comparison with the Malden zip, um, but this is like my true first time having a Safiano in um, like a snap closure type of deal. I'm like really rusty making YouTube videos. It's It's been a while, I think a few months. So forgive me if I'm all over the map. So I removed the plastic and it comes with this paper sleeve thingy that tells you what it is. It's like an overview, 19 millimeter rings, one slip pocket, two card pockets, one notepad pocket, which is like the one back here. Um, elastic pen loop, which is always nice, but on the left side, so I'm not used to that. So let's we'll see how it goes. Um, secure snap closure, dated a week on two pages, six number dividers, assorted note paper, envelope with top opening and ruler. So let's just move this. I'll just do this. Yeah, I haven't filmed in so long. I just have been having such a busy summer. And so I just have to totally like just stopped. But now that it's like Hobonichi season, um, 
I'm like more into like my planners and journals now so you will see a little bit more of me and I have like more things to unbox which I haven't opened um yet but I can do um probably the next time I film so yeah this is the slip pocket here two card pockets the feel is is not you can tell it's not leather but only if you know it isn't leather like you let me smell it yeah it's it's not that bad like it's it's not bad at all the reason why I got the Safiano um cover is because I really wanted something that I can chuck in my purse and not worry about getting ripped or I, I just wouldn't feel bad and so getting a planner for like eight bucks ten bucks like it made me feel better if I'm gonna ruin it versus like a Jillio or even my Kate Spade planners. I tend to not like bringing them out with me very often because of that reason of getting scratched and then dinged up. And some of them are like limited editions, like the Kate Spades are like discontinued. And so I really wanted to have a planner or planners that I could just like literally throw in my purse and not worry about it. And that is pretty much replaceable. So that is the reason why I got the Safianos. Um, but yeah, I like this cover, it's like pink that's new um six dividers to do inserts lines grid blank contacts a few blue green pink lined paper let me just put that in view and then it goes to 2024 so i'm thinking the reason why filofax like had the giant sale is because we are approaching the end of 2024 and their new 2025 planners were coming into stock and they just wanted to clear out the ones that had 2024 inserts which is funny because like you'd think that you can just put the 2025 inserts and sell them like that but the way it's packaged it seems like that was probably the reason it lays flat so that's nice it goes up a little bit but i'm so sure once you train it and use it more often it will eventually lay flat so 2024 inserts uh, calendar on one page and then the previous and the future year a space for personal info in multiple languages um, national information um, notable dates holiday symbols and then it goes into a week on two pages um, all multiple languages I know there's an English version of the 2025 um, pocket inserts do not have the QR code but I know in personal size they do so there is no QR codes in these 2024 ones. And then you have a little calendar up there with the week that it's on that's highlighted in gray. So your standard file facts inserts all the way up to the end of the year and finishing off with like notes pages. And then yeah, the, the back page. Um, clear ruler, top envelope, and then the, the notepad. So this pocket actually does not have a back pocket. The pocket filofaxes in the past have had like back pockets, but I don't utilize the back pocket as much as I could. So not having a back pocket is totally okay with me. Totally slim um, profile. I really like it. The quality is not bad. For a non-leather planner, it's pretty good and probably can sustain a lot of abuse. Um, but yeah, that is the Safiano Granite Pocket. Next, I think I'm going to, let's just change it up. Let's do a black planner. So the black Safiano, again, has like the lining, like the, the lint. I don't know. It reminds me of like smooth out lint um into like a paper format <laughs> That's so silly but anyways um the plastic cover and it also has like the 100 year celebration sticker that was also on the gray one and yeah wow i really like this a lot um this black one's very beautiful it's super sleek looking um my favorite planner like pocket size it has to be pocket um black planner is the finsbury and it is it definitely again does not feel like leather but but for the price point for like 15 dollars you can't beat that this is like amazing quality um again no back pocket what is that rattling sound i think 
like the ring mechanism. This isn't actually they both make sounds but anyways um let me just remove this thing it's like the ring protector thing but this one comes in black which is like neat um but yeah i like the pink front again two pockets the secretarial pocket and notepad um section and the same inserts i really i really do like this planner i'm so happy i got the saffiano um in these two colors i know they have like more bright colorful colorful oh my gosh colorful um saffianos but the gray the granite and the black are very beautiful i do very much like them oh my gosh so i am planning to film like my 2025 planner lineup um soon i'm just waiting for the travelers company release of all the things um, i know they can be on pre-order on certain websites but i like to go to my local paper store and pick up like the inserts like in person i'm really big on um not buying online like i try really hard not to buy online when i can go in person there's something about purchasing things online where I just don't know the concept. I don't really understand the concept of money. I don't know how to explain it. So it's so easy for me to fill up my cart for $100 online versus filling up my cart of $100 worth of stuff like in person. I'm more hesitant to spend money in person versus online. And so that's why I tend to not buy that much stationery online i try to do it in person okay that is a little tidbit about myself um so let's move forward to the saffiano granite and like regular personal size and compact i tried to get the black in um personal rings and in the zip and the reason why i didn't is because they were like really expensive or maybe they just sold out um, they were significantly more expensive. I think the Safiano in, in the regular personal ring size was like 60 bucks. And for me, like some people don't think $60 is a lot, but for a Safiano non-leather and like almost like not an impulse buy, but buy because it was on sale, it just didn't sit right with me. So I didn't want to uh, pull the trigger and buy the Safiano black in personal and zip so yeah <laughs> so this is the Safiano personal rings in granite same thing um this lint paper thing that I don't know what it's called and yeah this is really beautiful this feels um a tad bit more leather or maybe that's just me like you can see right now like I'm just throwing these planners around I'm very not violent with my planners but pretty aggressive with them and again I don't like to baby them like my Kate Spade and my leather planners I just keep on my desk and very rarely do I bring it outside the home um but I really wanted a planner that I could seriously wouldn't mind like putting on um like inside a shopping cart where I can just wipe it down with like paper towels or something. Anyways, um, it comes also with this plastic cover and this right here. I'll read it out to you. So it includes 23 millimeter rings, one slim pocket, three card pockets, and one notebook pocket. So pretty much like the pocket rings. Um, secure snap clo closure, dated week on two pages, multi-language, six number dividers, an assorted note paper envelope with top opening ruler and page marker ruler that is also a page marker so yeah let's just remove that <clears throat> i think this one was like 15 dollars. like that is a crazy price for a file of facts even though it isn't leather like even if you are buying some no name one from aliexpress or even off amazon like they would be probably like 20 25 dollars right like around there but for 15 like 10 bucks for filofax heck yeah i'm gonna add that to my cart even though i don't need it because you never know right like you never know when you want to i don't know like have a planner that you can throw around <laughs> and so yeah so let's just remove this some people leave um those ring protectors until they're using it but I don't I just I just removed them 
so yeah the layout is quite similar um i mean the inserts are quite similar just like personal ring size so to do pages aligned um grids blank and then the colored ones color line blue green and pink and then um contacts and then it goes into the actual 2024 inserts and so you have a year on one page like the the actual year and then previous and future year personal info national information notable dates and then it goes on to a week on two pages same layout it's just a bigger version compared to the pocket multiple languages the month view highlighted gray of the week that you're in and um yeah monday start and it goes all the way to the end of the year again it's like pretty identical notes pages and the end page clear ruler and top envelope and then the notepad pocket honestly I think the only thing that I it might bother me is the pen loop on the left side so let me just like pull a pen out here Like, I don't know how I feel about having a pen loop on the left side, but I don't think it would bother me. So this pen here is the Preppy um, Fine um, Nib Pen. Um, it's actually not bad. It does, it, like, it, I don't think it will bother me. As you can see here, it doesn't really hit the, if you just move the pen um, thing there, like, you can see the dividers. It's not that bad okay so that is like the regular rings um snap closure personal and then we'll move to the compact zip mm. let's see here okay so i'm super excited because i do have the fawn and i think the fawn is like discontinued the fawn is the um like the beige colored um the beige version of the planet of the saffiano oh my gosh my brain is farting wow this is really pretty this looks more yeah this is really gorgeous is it like backwards this is so pretty it is i prefer the granite over the fawn this is gorgeous actually wow i feel like this has been opened in the past and returned because you can see here it was ripped off which is fine like i'm okay uh with it being opened before um it has that back pocket that you see typically in the saffiano that is gorgeous like don't you think this gray is so beautiful like i think it's so gorgeous i'm very happy with this like the Safiano family that I purchased, like on a whim. <laughs> and it's all under like $50, right? Like I got four planners for under 50 bucks. Like that is an amazing deal. So that is a smooth zipper. Hear that? That's beautiful. So let's see here. It does lay flat. Um, and with the compact zips that Filofax has, the rings actually come out, like the mechanism actually comes out. It's like a, kind of like a binder um, backing to it so that, let me just rip this off. It's as easy as the other one. Um, there we go. So, yank that out. So the layout is different like the insert layout um you have the pockets in here you have a big one here the elastic loop um the reason why i don't very much like the compact even though i did buy the compact in saffiano and i have the compact zip and malden and the fawn is i don't like the pen elastic like it's not my jam and so yeah it just it it functions like the zip functions 
um as a wallet as well so maybe that's why it's so compact and like it just is really bulky when you use a pen so i just don't like that look so let me just put this in here and you can see like it like i don't know i just it, i'm not a big fan of like a pen in the compact um, zips if that makes sense <laughs> Um, so yeah, so we have a pocket here and one, two, three card slots on that side. One, two, three. So six card slots, a big area here for like, if you want to use this as a wallet, a zip pocket for coins, and then another pocket here. And then the back here, um, you have this elastic. I don't know why this is elasticized. Um, but it is. Um, and then more card pockets. So you have 12. So there's six on this side and six on that side. And it's pretty much identical to like this front pocket with the um, with the uh, pockets. So to the inserts, I will take this out. And so for the compact, the, let me see where it is see the details it's smaller rings so 50 millimeter rings five vertical slip pockets 18 card pockets and one multifunctional elastic pocket a removable ring mechanism one zip pocket one external slip pocket an elastic pen loop secure zip closure dated the week on two pages six number dividers assorted note paper a ruler which is also a page marker and rfid blocker and so I first when I was doing an unboxing, I was like, what is an RFID blocker? I think that's I someone commented on that. <laughs> I've heard, sorry, I was, <laughs> I was just choking there. Um something to do with like your cards so that it blocks um ID or like accidentally purchasing something. You know how you can tap cards, something to do with that? But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you can Google that. Um, but yeah, so it has a plastic cover and you can see here that the inserts are different. So I'll just like compare the two inserts here. So like there's no, um, 2024 planner week on two pages this belongs to, like there's nothing like that, um, in the personal. And so week on two pages, diary, multi-language, week on two page, year is here. And then last year and the future year. Um, there, personal info, the rings. Let's see, it's getting kind of hard. It's 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 quite full, but um, yeah. Uh, personal info, pretty much the same thing. Verbal dates, holiday symbols, and then a week on two pages. And let's see here. It's pretty much the same, right? For some weird reason, I thought the one in the Safiano is bigger, but no, it's like this the same thing. And then all the way to the end of the year with blank pages. And the paper is like the same color, same like white paper. And then the six dividers, this is white versus the cream, like the six cream ones here. To do's, contacts, line, grid, and blue, green, and pink. There's less though, less inserts um, compared to these. You have more of the inserts in that one. But yeah, I really love this. I don't know <laughs> when I'll use it, um, but it's good to have these in my collection. I am very happy with these purchases. For 50 bucks for four planners, you you literally can't go wrong, right? Like you can't, that's such, like, that's such an amazing price um i really like these planners i'm very excited to potentially set them up for some weird reason this one feels more leathery than um this one but like this one feels more squishy but that could just be me so don't don't quote me on that but yeah that is it i hope you guys you folks have a great day thank you so much for watching um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or shoot me a message on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing as well. Thanks so much. Until next time. Bye.